Who here loves a little bit of data mining? Judging by how popular the last few videos have been covering information that has been unearthed from Battlefield 5 files, I'd say that's quite a lot of you out there. The official 2019 roadmap for Battlefield 5 that left a lot to be desired. Items on it weren't fully explained and there wasn't much depth to it. Certain items were actually greyed out and I think a lot of us in the core community were left disappointed when we saw the first new multiplayer map wouldn't release until May. This is why I believe these data mining discoveries are proving so popular with the core community. People are just hungry for information and people want details about what they can expect moving forwards for Battlefield 5. People want the security of knowing that more content is indeed coming or could potentially be coming because these data mines aren't official information. So again, with this video, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. So for this next round of discoveries made by the champion of data miners, Temporial, we do have several things to discuss. I'm going to start with something that DICE appears to be creating for brand new players, something called basic training. This is going to be a brand new tutorial mission, accessible via the main menu, presumably, for new players that will explain some of the core fundamentals of Battlefield 5 to them and get them to run through a series of activities so they can put that theory into practice. Now, apparently, it's going to be narrated by Lars Gustafsson, longtime producer at DICE, and the man referred to as Mr. Battlefield. The tutorial mission is going to cover off the classes and their roles during matches, how to capture different objectives in a conquest match, how to take down vehicles by asking the player to use a Panzerfaust on weak spots of a tank, where they can get the things they need like ammo and health from resupply stations, an explanation of the ticket system during a round of conquest, and a walkthrough of the redeploy mechanics. Now, for sure, this is not a piece of content that's likely to excite many of us here watching this video. We're all core players and we've likely been playing Battlefield 5 since launch. But it's hard not to argue that Battlefield games can be very daunting to brand new players when they first get started. And so having this basic training tutorial that you must complete before jumping into the multiplayer, I think that's a big step in the right direction. There's a lot you have to think about when playing a Conquest game. There's a lot happening, and a brand new player can sometimes feel a bit lost in it all. A tutorial showing them the ropes and teaching them the fundamental lessons right out of the gate, like the ticket system in Conquest, which can be difficult to understand if you have no idea how to play Battlefield, that's really important, and I'm glad that DICE has decided to do this. In previous Battlefield games, and technically the current one, Battlefield 5, the single player has been used as a tutorial system, and that, in my opinion, doesn't translate well into a multiplayer environment. The co-op segment in Battlefield 5 was also pitched as somewhat of a lead-in to the multiplayer as well, but we've all seen just how badly that turned out. A simple mandatory tutorial for brand new players is far better than a long, often tedious single player campaign or a co-op mode with bad AI. I hope DICE does this for all future Battlefield titles and for Battlefield 5, it's a good step for onboarding those brand new players. Okay then, let's move on to some more interesting things arguably. We're going to talk about two of the upcoming multiplayer maps, Mercury in Chapter 3 and Marita in Chapter 4. Mercury, named after Operation Mercury, is set to launch in May and it's going to take Battlefield 5 to the island of Crete, which is a Greek island, and the airborne invasion of the island by the Germans. This was the first mainly airborne invasion in history and because of the large number of casualties inflicted upon the Germans by the defending civilians, Greek, British, Australian and New Zealand soldiers, Hitler decided against such large-scale airborne assaults again and instead he chose to deploy his Fallschirmjäger as ground troops. Right now there's not a huge amount that we know about the Mercury map that DICE is planning to release other than it will be looking to mimic that German aerial invasion in some way. 
As for the Marita map, this is going to follow on from the events that take place on the Mercury map, but this time we'll be fighting on the Greek mainland close to the Albanian border. This concept art gives you some idea of the setting. It's going to be in late 1940, set in the autumn or the fall. We've got mountains, sheer cliff drops, there'll be a river in a valley, and the sound of ambient warfare happening in the distance. Within the game files, Temple Yal has uncovered some references to named locations that appear on the minimap when you're playing around on Mercury or Marita. For now, there's no direct link between each entry and which map that it's actually for, but some of the names can be attributed to certain maps more easily. Names like Beach Apartments will obviously denote a location on the Mercury map, for example. The entire list is on screen now and you can see names like Airfield, Supply Docks, Satellite and Radar on there. So it's safe to assume that these maps will include such locations or could potentially include such locations. Temple Yal also uncovered mentions of an old cannon in the files. Battlefield 4's Operation Mortar map from the Naval Strike DLC included these cannons at the top of the hill in the ruined fort and you could fire cannonballs across the map. Would be really awesome to see those make a return here in Battlefield 5. And there's also mentions that the radar station can spot enemies that are nearby, which would be an interesting gameplay feature to say the least. Obviously nothing is set in stone here, these could just be conceptual ideas in the files, but nonetheless it's interesting to think about. Okay, a couple more things to discuss. First, let's take a look at something that cropped up in the community a couple of months back that was classified by DICE at the time as a bug. The mention of Sicily, and for some reason, the name replacing Twisted Steel in the server browser for a short while. A couple of DICE developers on social media did respond to the community asking questions about this, and the consensus appeared to be that this was some sort of prank or an extremely well-spelled bug. Now, according to Temple Yal, who searched the files for the word Sicily, he found a few more mentions of it in some rather interesting places. First, he found it mentioned with the correct prefix for it to be a multiplayer map. DICE has used MP underscore map name for the maps in Battlefield 5 and CMP underscore map name for the maps that are set to be released for the 5v5 game mode coming in Chapter 4. He also found that the map ID number was lower than that of Fiel 652, which would indicate that the Sicily map has been in the files for quite some time, and various strings mentioning the words along with translations of that into other languages like French and German were also found. So it seems that perhaps Sicily was planned as a map at some point during Battlefield 5's development, but it was never fully developed or it's coming in the future and right now there's just not that many references to it. There's really not a huge amount to go on here and I guess time is going to tell. Considering the few responses that we got from DICE at the time the name first leaked out, my guess is that it was originally planned for the game, but it got cut in favour of other content. And lastly for today, the curious case of Firestorm's map Halvoy and whether there is potential for it to change or expand or not, as that might be the case. According to Temple Yal, the Firestorm map's axis isn't centred in the middle of the map. And if you compare this to another map in the game, you find that there is a difference. This image here shows that difference side by side with Twisted Steel. And you can see to the north on the Halvoy map that there are roads that sort of lead out of the play zone further into the snowy mountains. These images seem to suggest that Halvoy was cut across horizontally and a top portion of the map was removed and this means that the original map could have been almost twice as big as it was now and that would be absolutely insane. It might also mean that there is more to the Halvoy map in Firestorm but right now it's simply not playable and DICE could expand or change the map in the future and that would be really really interesting but it is also worth me mentioning that I had this conversation on Twitter a few moments ago and one of the DICE level designers, Matt Wagner, he highlighted that the axes for Devastation are also off-centre. So there might be absolutely nothing to this at all, but sometimes it is nice to think that there might be more to the story. I guess, again, time is going to tell.
Now, as with all of these data mining videos, please take the information that I've given you today with a pinch of salt because everything is subject to change. There's nothing official here right now. And we do just have to wait for EA and DICE to clarify what it is we will be getting or not getting, as the case might be. I will say one thing, however. These data mine finds are keeping me interested in Battlefield 5 at the moment. Officially, when it comes to the Tides of War updates and the current slate of content, I'm worn out on it. And I'm really just counting down the days till we get our hands on the new Mercury map next month. So these data mines are keeping me interested in the game further into the future. The data mines, however, remove the control of the conversation from DICE's hands, and when the community, or the core community, is doing a better job at keeping themselves entertained by digging into the game files than the official messaging is, then you just know something isn't quite right. It might well be that the more passive, casual players of Battlefield 5, the guys that sort of log in on Thursday and Friday nights, maybe they play a little bit of the weekend, but they're not playing every single day like you and I might be, those people might be very happy with the cadence that content is arriving for Battlefield 5. But the core, dedicated players don't appear to be so content. I'm hoping DICE is watching on and working out what they can do to keep the core audience more engaged, because right now, I'm just not feeling it that much for Battlefield 5. But there you are, you're now as up to date as you possibly can be on Battlefield 5. There's set to be another patch for the game after the Easter holidays, so stick around for patch notes on that, I'll make a video when those drop. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.